Alright, so a little while back, I posted a video on this truck. This is my Red Cat Racing Everest 10. And it was about all the upgrades on it. And since then, there has been another very, very major suspension-based upgrade, if you haven't noticed yet. Now, I did post a short video on this um, about basically what it does and how it works, but I'm going to go a little bit more in-depth today. And I'm sorry for having a two-month absence of not... Um, making longer videos it's just been a hectic couple of months um, now the video on this is done really well the better it's the best video on the channel but I want to go on to this now this like I said is my Everest 10 and it's pretty upgraded if, if you didn't watch it the video I would go watch it it's pretty good um, but it's a little bit longer but it goes over every upgrade like the servo the servo horn axle spacers wheels tires um, the hitch, or how that stuff was done, all that. But now, I am here mainly to talk about the suspension upgrade, why I did it, how it works, and then I might be able to show you how it works, but I, you know, I'm, I don't really have the space right now because it's dark outside, as you can't you know, tell by that window over there, um, and in here I just don't have the space. So I'm going to move you in closer, and I'm going to show you what it is. Okay, so this is it. Um... Now, really, the only thing that happened here was, A, we obviously have a lot more metal on this truck now. But B, we have the shocks vertical instead of back here. They were mounted right there, and then now they're here. So, how this works to eliminate torque twist, or at least try to, is when you're driving. This is the back right tire. Now, this is normally the culprit to all the torque twist. So, when you are driving along, I will demonstrate this on the front it pushes like this so it is going to push straight back on that and then it's going to use this to pivot up but instead you're going to basically put a like almost like a little block on the first beginning part that makes it more difficult to um, travel but it's still super duper easy to travel and it's way better for the truck for performance and handling and basically anything that involves your suspension now on the back, when you are driving, all the load is being forced this way, On at least on my truck. It should be on yours the exact same. So, it's going to push it back again. So, But this just has it vertical, basically making it a little bit harder to get moving, but it still makes it work. Now, this does still have full travel. I can still go all the way up and all the way down, turning, everything. Now, as you can see, these go straight up. Like, they're not completely vertical, but these are still facing forward. Now, the reason for that is, if I were to put this like this, oh, sorry. If I were to put this vertical, like, not, not vertical, horizontal like this, it would lift the truck by like an inch. Now, I would be completely okay with that, but yes, this is a tow vehicle for me, and that would mess up the angles of the axles and the drive shafts and then the hitch and it would just be a headache to redo all that stuff. So I'm going to go over the measurements of this stuff and what material I used for it. Now you can probably guess what it is just by looking at it but if you can't I'm going to tell you. All this stuff right here that is all the same exact stuff that I built my trailer with and that stuff is extremely strong. I have had 50 pounds on that trailer and it didn't even bend ridiculous and that is all I don't know if you can see that but 1 16th inch thick angled aluminum and it is 1 inch so that is the magical size for this now I cannot remember the exact length of this now this might vary mine is a little bit older so they might have act like changed there might be a little bit of play in the machining process for everything so you're gonna have to measure this out but I would definitely recommend having some overlay here I would probably say from here to here, make it about an inch from the end, in, and then go from there. Now, when you put these, on, now when you put these on, this is going to touch a chassis that is perfectly fine. That's what happened with mine. That's what's going to happen with yours, no matter what it is, unless you lift it, and then yeah. But um, as you can see, it has these back and front parts. Now that is because when these were just here. Basically, all you did is just made a lever, so now you are putting way 
more stress on these parts right here. So this is going to keep it from these from moving in and out because they are just attached straight to the frame. And when you do that, you are going to actually allow it to bend easier with the extra torque that is allotted with the angle aluminum. Now this does fit perfectly underneath the bodies. Let me go grab it. Now I've got multiple bodies. I have my work truck body. That is the stock body that I use for towing. And on it I have multiple different um, latch on points. I have a higher one and a lower one. Now it doesn't quite fit on the front, but I would and I would recommend anyway for the extra suspension travel just going ahead and drilling another hole in it. I did that for towing. I very, very highly recommend that if you're going to do, you know, do this swap because you're going to need the extra space. Now with this you are going to actually allow yourself to get more suspension travel when you have the body up like this so you're not actually going to rub and break off your fender like I did. That's why I ended up switching. Now you can also see that I have it up higher for towing because I need to be able to access the hitch. And this does have the rope spool in the back for pulling cars out of mud and snow. Now the ram body. This is the expensive body of this vehicle, but it's handling it like a champ. It does not care that it's there, and it doesn't, well, yeah, because it already rubs no matter what you do against the tires. So yeah, that, that's it. That's all I had to do. Um, I'm going to grab some measurements off of this, and then I will be right back. Now, three and a half to four inches is going to be your magical number on this. Um, as you can... Oh my god, Becky. Tell what you can't really see right here, but this one is measuring three and a half on the money. Um, these are obviously going to be a little bit wider, but I bought a four foot span of this. And as you can see, I've still got, you know, let's see here, a solid 17 and a half inches exactly left. So, yeah, this stuff is great. And I had, I made two um, mistakes building this. And you're going to make mistakes, so get extra. Definitely get extra. Because the last thing you want is your truck to be apart. And then you realize something's wrong. And you have to shove like a clothespin or safety pin something in there to hold it up because you don't feel like letting it drop or just let it drop it doesn't freaking matter um, and then you got to go out and get more metal so just get it once have it just be done now these parts are probably going to end up coming off and getting um, bed liner put onto them or they might not I don't know uh, so yeah thank you so much for watching I'm really sorry for the two month absence of longer videos um, Please, you know, like, subscribe so we can grow the channel and then we can start doing more creative stuff like this. Um, and then moving on to real cars and then motorcycles, which we have a whole bunch of stuff to do to that uh, old dirt bike that you guys don't really know about. So my first dirt bike we're restoring to give to my niece and nephew. Um, right now we already went through phase one that you guys don't know about, which was uh, plastics and tires. Um, the next stage I'm probably going to end up filming it is a full rebuild of the top half of the engine. Um, so make sure to subscribe for that because you're not going to want to miss that. That's going to be cool. And then we have a uh, carburetor for our YZ250. And then um, just a whole bunch of stuff that it's ready. that's just lined up and ready to go. So like, subscribe, grow the channel, share. Please share. That helps us a lot. Um, and definitely go out and pick up some of these trucks because they're great. I have tested all of them. They haven't failed me. Okay, that's not true. One of them failed me. Don't talk about that car much on this channel. So anyway, this is getting into a Midwest goodbye. Bye.